to ensure that the cohesion policy remains. For your closing remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, fruitful and very interesting debate. Uh, thank you for your contribution. I really share uh, all your views that uh, uh, this policy is more important than ever uh, in the times that we have so many divisions. And, uh, of course, uh, I think it's very important to show solidarity between member states. And this debate shows that uh, uh, we can uh, do together uh, this policy to be stronger. So I would like to make some clarifications uh, because there were some misunderstanding, I think. I would like to underline that financial instruments do not lead to reallocation of funds between member states or regions. When financial instruments uh, are used, we do not support banks, but we use them to transfer EU resources with strict rules. Uh, so synergies, of course, are very important. I would like to thanks to Mr. Uh, Lambert van uh, for this communication uh, idea and very elaborate uh, document. Uh, I, I am very grateful to the Maltese presidency that uh, they also put in the Luxembourg uh, meeting uh, the communication issue on uh, our debates between uh, among uh, ministries of uh, cohesion policy because it's uh, very important. I'm very sorry that Mr. Fitch is not here anymore because uh, this is an irony of our policy this policy was created of the pressure of UK in 1975 uh, when uh, the UK, United Kingdom uh, said that it will not go to the Council in Paris if this ERDF, the Solidarity Fund, will not be created uh, because uh, it was this situation of closing the mines and it was European funds, ERDF, Solidarity Fund, who retrain the people, make new activities, and I am very sorry, but I don't know if the people, when votes of Brexit, knew that they have jobs because of the European Union. And Mr. Fitch is right, it's not European money, it's taxpayers' money, but the, this money are going also in the UK. As uh, you said, in uh, Liverpool, we have now ongoing uh, metro in Cardiff and a lot of big projects. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we made the university in Manchester. And you mentioned f uh, peace program, which is very important. And I am very worried as well as you about this because it was not London, it was not Belfast, it was not Dublin, it was Brussels who put this money together for the reconciliation, for uh, uh, policy, and I have, I have full trust in uh, Mr. Barnier, our, full ne uh, our negotiator, chief negotiator, that he will deal with that because this is a very important program and shows that this policy has also this role to heal the wounds that we have on the map of Europe. So thank you very much, and now I will say a few words in my marketer tongue. Um, cred că I think that the two rapporteurs have played a very important role here because they've stressed how important it is to have the grants and the financial instruments. Now the grants, certainly when it comes to infrastructure, hospitals, schools and roads are very useful. They don't generate an immediate profit. And then the financial instruments, Mr. Nabokov, I agree with you, that they are just as essential. And we have to ensure that there is this combination of the two, which is done and set up and balanced in the right manner. So I would encourage everybody who's interested at a regional and local level, banks, to to press ahead because they have they need to have the necessary competence uh, to work out where that balance between the grants and the financial instruments needs to lie. Technical assistance, w which was the focus of Mrs. Tomasic's report, is equally important. And you'll be well aware that in the current period, the Commission has worked very closely with member states in order to try and ensure that the member states can reap the benefits of the current period, but also looking ahead. All member states have strengthened their administrative capacity and have put in place requisite legislation. And as I said at the start, we're trying to now define priorities for technical assistance going forward. 
we, uh, DG Regio, b believe that technical assistance needs to be able to run from the very start of a programming period throughout the period so that we don't get the build up of delays that we've been experiencing member states hitherto and then we can get an exchange of experience between regions and we can uh, make sure that uh, we are there to help with the structural reform the structural uh, funds reform in debates on the budget after 2020 uh, that we're going to be having, 500 million Europeans will be benefiting from this and this will contribute to an improvement in their lives and the lives of their children and it is incumbent on all of us uh, politicians to ensure that we and the Commission is included do everything we can to make that a